This September 2010 memo, uh, Max Blumenthal writes, by a U.S. funded soft power organization that helped train Venezuelan coup leader Juan Guaido and his allies identifies the potential collapse of the country's electoral sector as, quote, a watershed event that, quote, would likely have the impact of galvanizing public unrest in a way that no opposition group could ever hope to generate. So this WikiLeaks published a document from 2010 shows that this group that was training Guaido had talked openly about the electricity of the country being shut down as a way to galvanize public unrest. Of course, as everyone knows, last week in Venezuela, about 80%, I believe, of the electricity went down. The, sorry, the Venezuelan government claims that it was indeed a cyber attack. They blamed the United States for this. Uh, they said they worked to restore the electricity and they, uh, they came under another attack. Of course, the United States denies this. In fact, Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State, had a pretty awful tweet in which he said, uh, no electricity, no food, and soon no ma Maduro, I'm paraphrasing. But it was just a completely insensitive remark to make because people actually died as a result of that power failure.